All right, 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 all right. Look, man, you know the drill. Another very, very interesting career simulation. Yao Ming, the number one pick in the 2002 NBA draft, seven foot six. Originally, I believe 22 in his rookie season, but you know how we roll around here. We make him as young as possible. 310 pounds. What if this man A was in the NBA in 2020, and you know so on and so forth into the deep future, and B could not get injured this man only played in eight seasons in one of them he played five games and in the other three he played under 60 games here's a look at his comparisons as of right now i think they're sleeping on him honestly considering that i know how the player is although this is the official yao ming from the historic 2002 draft class as usually you know how this goes but yeah i would take a wild guess and say they're sleeping on him i don't think he's worse than a, a bunch of these guys okay maybe james wiseman we'll see what happens there but probably not worse than 10 of these guys but uh hey his floor is greg monroe so that's incredible right i think he's playing in russia now he averaged 30 points, 17 rebounds, and almost well, four blocks a game in, uh, I guess, China. He's tied for the best overall player in the draft, but like, I don't know what's not correlating here to not make him, you know, a higher ranked player. Let's just get into it. The NBA draft. With the first pick in the 2020 NBA draft, the Minnesota Timberwolves select. Anthony Edwards makes sense. I would really hope they wouldn't pick Yao Ming when they already have the, you know, the big cat guy. The second pick in the draft, the New York Knicks, and they select Onyeko Okongwu. Look, I don't know much about this guy, but all I know is I've never seen him pick this high in this draft. Hey, that's cool, I guess. I deeply apologize if you own an Onyeka Okongwu page on Instagram and you're a huge fan of him. The third pick in the draft, the Chicago Bulls. And the Bulls pick LaMelo Ball. The Charlotte Hornets are on the clock. And the Charlotte Hornets select Yao Ming. So even though he was ranked pretty low, he was drafted higher than a lot of you guys. He was drafted higher than Cole Anthony, I think. Uh, what's his name? James Wiseman? Yeah, okay. Hey, well, uh, we got a new team. Yao Ming Speed? He recorded the best time in the lane agility? That's his best thing? You think a guy seven foot six you know be like oh yeah you know he's kind of tall all right well we don't care about the rest yao ming 80 overall 19 year old center happiest moments of my life one hornets drafting ming as of right now it says his ceiling is tyson chandler all-star floor Dwayne deadman you know what i'm not mad at this no i know his potential is higher than a guy like tyson chandler but it, it kind of makes sense he's just a lot taller than tyson chandler don't count on any rim protection from this guy can't jump at all um he's seven six his head is almost at the rim wait weren't you guys just saying he was at agile or something like that and now you're saying he's not agile as a weakness but yeah anyways he can protect the rim he has rim protector on golden by the way i didn't actually adjust any of his badges these are the badges he was given i thought they were pretty accurate honestly considering that his first season i believe he averaged something like 13 and 7 a game well i mean his stats are what you'd expect from yao ming and now rather being contained to practically seven seasons we get to see this guy freely play for hopefully something like near 20 the charlotte hornets a very new team i feel like we've never seen a player get drafted to Charlotte. maybe we have i don't know i don't remember i've done almost like what 40 of these now but really hope they would accept the team option for Devonte graham are we gonna sign anybody that's like good at basketball it looks like the hornets team is like exactly the same except for davis bertons yeah it was an 80 overall going to season number one oh, yeah, and jordan clarkson's here because why the hell not another guard that's gonna shoot a lot and not play a lot of defense that's just great exactly what we need might as well just stick to the green first game of his career yeah puts up 16 and 8 that's solid enough first year all-star nope shout out to uh who are we trying to shout out this time around shout out to kyle lowry but hey you know yeah i was averaging almost 16 and 9 that's pretty cool i would like to see the field percentage up though you know you kind of just shoot inside the paint like she can hit the midi though and he's like tall so actually even if you're gonna shoot the midi you just shoot it over him you know you have no excuse we're actually like a borderline playoff team yeah sure why the hell not hey Giannis, i remember when you're a borderline playoff team yeah we won 32 games i really hope that's not playoffs rookie of the year james wiseman what pick did he go uh oh my god he went 13 the hell have you guys not seen my videos but hey yeah we averaged 16 and 9 also almost three blocks a game that's probably like league leading then again you know he's like a foot taller than everybody Except for Taco. Maybe Yao can get some DPOIs this time around. I don't know. And uh, shout out to Malcolm Brogdon. Yao Ming, all rookie first team. But yeah, we were uh, nine games in the playoffs. So here we are. Jordan Clarkson's good, but like, what do you expect when he leads the team in points, you know? Great six man though. But yeah, not, not the leader of the team. All right, Charlotte, Mr. Micah, uh, who you guys got in store this time around? Marshawn Brooks retired. I swear to God, this is one of my favorite players of all time. He was so much fun to play with in like 2K13. Can we win the lottery, please? Oh, okay, we have the ninth pick. That's cool. That works too. And who the hell are we going to draft? Zaire Williams. You know, it's not that bad. At least we didn't just, like, you know, draft another center. Now, just sign, like, Anthony Davis or something, and then we'll be perfectly fine. Oh! Um, we, um, we, we, we somehow did. What? What? I can't even speak right now. They let De'Aaron Fox go? Kings, what are you on? Oh, wait, right. It's because Sacramento doesn't exist. Right, right, right. Got it, got it. Now, nah, I gotta let that joke go. Too many people from Sacramento are getting mad at me. But what the hell? Yeah, Devontae, it's been real. D Terry, it's been cool, you know what I mean? But hey, we found ourselves a Yao counterpart as Mr. Ming, or actually, wait, is 
is it is it Ming or is it Yao? Mr. Yao or Mr. Ming? I don't know. Now has Hall of Fame brick wall and just gained a bunch of other center badges that you would assume you would assume that he would get. So 82 overall heading at season number two. Hey, we have a uh, Zo Q or what a Joe Q. I don't know. We got two of the league's Chinese players on one team. I don't know how many Chinese players there are in the league. I'm not even sure. First game of the season against the Rockets. Hey, yeah, 21 and 10. Revenge for um, I don't know, being in the wrong dimension. But Yao and De'Aaron playing around the same minutes per game. The dynamic duo. Can they save the Charlotte Hornets? Ah, yes. Our favorite time of the year, the All-Star game. Well, he's still not here. He's leading the team in points this season, though. That's kind of cool. Didn't really expect this this early. I thought Yao was going to be a little more reserved for some more time. But hey, De'Aaron's a good playmaker. Mr. James, most valuable player. Devontae Graham, sixth man of the year. Yeah, I guess I would expect this man to get this award. Sure, Kawhi just averaged 30 points a game. I guess he can't do low management anymore, so that makes sense. Still no all any teams. And we tied for the eighth and seventh seed, but um, guess what? We didn't make it. Isn't that just lucky? Oh, wow. Yao actually averaged 19 and 11 in his second season. Hey, I'm proud of him so far. He's only 21. But uh, we can try this again next year. The Hornets have waited long enough. We can wait one more year. Joel, congrats, but uh, not for long. Yao's coming. Jimmer Fredette retired. Don't really think he had a choice. I'm expecting Mikey Williams to fall to number 14. Imagine. We got Adrian Griffin Jr. Eh, whatever. Just sign another guy like De'Aaron Fox and another team will be stupid, right? I really don't know how the hell the Kings messed that up. Although we don't got another De'Aaron Fox, but uh, hey, we still got him here. Along with now Eric Pascal. All right, so, you know, we're making small steps. I mean, he's seven foot six for God's sake, so you know he's going to turn it up eventually. I have a feeling this is the year. Yao Ming All-Star? No, not yet. Well, uh, shout out to Malcolm Brogdon, I guess. Yao is already averaging 21 points and nine rebounds. I'm going to be honest, I really didn't mess with his tendencies at all. I didn't really have to. And yes, with people who, like, spam me with comments like, oh, you should have messed with their tendencies, like for the Shaq one. I do. Sometimes players just don't want to be good. Look at Curry, man. That joke's getting ran to the ground, but people still enjoy it, I guess. But yeah, he's the most valuable player now. Hey, Mikey. Devontae, once again. Again, six man of the year. Still no Yao is DPOI, but uh, you know, 80 is kind of this whole basketball thing. Then again, Yao hasn't even make it, made an all defensive team yet, so what the hell am I talking about? Still no all team, if that made any sense. And we missed the playoffs by uh, two games this year. Fantastic. So we keep getting late lottery players. Yao did his Yao thing, as I just mentioned his stats like two seconds ago. Giannis is finals MVP. Oh god, the Bucks have Bowl Bowl. No wonder they won the championship. Demetrius Jackson retired. We drafted Tomas Christie. Well, at least he's a sharpshooter. I guess we could use any of those. Yao Ming, 86 overall, just 22 years old. Got a couple more gold badges now, progressing well, you know. Going to season number four, Sir Dominic Pointer is now here, and Sir Dominic Pointer is starting. Well, Yao is still not an all-star, but hey, uh, old reliable Yusuf Nurkic is. Although I've been trying hard as all hell to not even, you know, mention him. Because Nurkic is good, it just confuses the hell out of me. He becomes a consistent all-star. Well, actually, he actually just turned into a Hall of Famer in real life, and the Nuggets regret trading him instead of Jokic. That actually be funny as hell. Hey, look, we have 40 wins. Oh, I guess we traded for Aaron Gordon. Eric Pashka on a second round pick for Aaron Gordon, a first round pick. Hey, that doesn't make sense. It's been real, Sir Dominic. Hey, Etuan. Steph Curry. Old as all hell, but uh, still doing it. Putting his fourth MVP. Rookie of the year, Shamori Pons, because why the hell not? And no, he wasn't drafted this year. He's just been like sitting in the G League for three years, probably. Hey, sixth man of the year, Devontae again. Oh my God, jaw drop 63. Hey, Yao Ming had eight blocks. Cool. And most improved player, Nas Mitru Long. Just waiting for the Yao recognition, you know, on any these teams and just you know we're right here we're right here we're waiting for it well one good piece of news we're in the playoffs yeah i mean 23 points and 10 rebounds a game and almost three blocks but you know i'm the rounding up god so yeah three blocks he's actually tied with chris stops for leading the league in blocks per game but uh boston yeah vincent poye is shaking in his boots shout out to delon Wright, one of just like the really good utility players in the nba i don't know there's my nba nerd coming out of me and uh here we go 2-2 two, two. okay that's actually a lot better than i thought it would be three to us and it's a game seven for god's sake we can never get out of one easy. Yao put up 20 and 15 in the last game. Of course, we just choked last second and lost this game, didn't we, huh? Yep. Yao Ming actually- Oh my god. 5 for 16. Yao, I don't care how many free throws you hit, my guy. You missed 11 shots at 7 foot 6. Hey, you set a new career high this season. Don't care. We lost in game 7. But yeah, what the hell is going on? Well, actually, I do know what's going on. We're on the Hornets, but still. Well, still averaged 23 and 12 in his first ever playoff run with 4 blocks a game, so um, yeah. Shout out to the Bucks again. There goes Giannis. Would assume Bol Bol. Oh, okay. Never mind. Bol Bol is still there and uh, winning games for them. Thought he would have went on his way by now. It's just kind of the Bol Bol way. Terrence Jones, Rockets legend, retired. Of course, Houston retired his jersey number. I really hope nobody fell for that. Some of you probably don't know who the hell Terrence Jones is. Hey, yeah, what's that bag looking like? Five years, 180 million. That's solid. So, for the record, when he's off of this contract, he would have already played more years than he did in the actual NBA. Just keep that in mind. But he's an 88 overall. He has Hall of Fame pick and roller now. That's probably a good badge to have when you have De'Aaron Fox edition you the ball. As well as Hall of Fame. Oh, wait, he already had that. Okay, cool. Yeah, he's doing well so far. He 
even has bronze clamps now. I feel like we don't see a lot of people get that, especially when you're seven foot six. You know, clamps is the badge that everyone in my team needs to have unless they just get blown by. And hey, the team's kind of good actually now. So, season number five. The hell are you trying to kill Yao? Playing the man 37 minutes a game? You know that he got injured a lot, right? He can find a way. I know injuries are off, but you never know what the hell is going to happen in 2K. But like we love to say, that's the fun in it. Hey, yo, if you're still around at this point and you haven't liked the video by now, you know, you could like it and try and help out the channel and all that cool stuff. Great. Thank you very much. How is he not an all-star yet? I feel like his numbers are like far surpassed all-star status, you know? But no, instead, just give it to Nikola Vucevic. Yeah, sure. Why the hell not? Shout out to Nikola Vucevic. You know, 21, 10 rebounds, two blocks, a crisp 0% from three. You know what? His time's coming. He's got like another like, what, 16 years? I don't know. Hey, Giannis. Rookie of the year, Vladimir Le Lekic or Lekic, like Jokic. Finally, Yao Ming gets some recognition on the old defensive second team, averaging some of his worst numbers in the past couple years, but it's still perfectly fine with me. At least they realize now. It's like when they give players sympathy awards when they snub them the year prior. We are the third seed against the Bulls, who have one hell of a different team. Darius Garland, RJ Barrett. You know, I don't even want to talk about it. Wait, we have DeAndre Hunter? Oh, wow. Once again, PJ Washington in a second round pick for DeAndre Hunter in a first round pick. Where, where does this add up? Yo. Yankee with no brim. Oh, you got to be kidding me. We signed the GOAT Marcus Derrickson from the 2010s recent and traded him like immediately for Devon Reed. And wait, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. We traded for Zoe Q. Oh, okay, okay. You know what? I don't know what the hell's going on, but let's just get the hell out of here, right? We're wasting too much time on this BS. Who please just win the series against Chicago? Okay, um, 4-1. That works. Second round for the first time in the video. How the hell are the Bucks? The Okay, um, that makes no sense. Didn't you guys just win like back-to-back -back championships? You're going to tell me that you're now the seventh seed? Bowl Bowl alone can make a team that at least the fourth seed. And we're up 3-2, even though we we're just down 2-0. Okay, we won in game seven. Thank you very much, Zaire Williams, as uh, Yao Ming shot nine for 20. Well, actually, that's not that bad, but I mean, you're 7-6 once again. You can touch the rim without jumping. Well, I mean, he held Giannis to six for 17, which is good for Giannis standards, you know? And Chris Middleton just forgot how to basketball. All right, Brooklyn. I'm assuming you still got the lanky guy. Yeah, there he is. And uh, Bobby Porter should probably get... I mean, can we just get switches for Yao Ming on Bobby Portis the whole game? I'm interested in how tall Carl Glover is. Carl Glover is seven foot. That's still tall, but Yao, your six is just taller. Eat. We're down 2-1, 3-1. 3-2. Okay, we just forced a game seven. I don't know what the hell's going on, but uh, maybe we can make the finals. Maybe, please. This would be kind of a shock. Yeah, it would, it would definitely would have been a shock since we lost by 22. Fantastic. Yao Ming, uh, you played pretty solid. I can't even blame you for this one. And then there's Kyrie Irving. Tends to do pretty well in the playoffs. And the Nets won the championship. Once again, Kyrie tends to do kind of good in this whole setting. Yao's playoff stats were Yao-ish. I feel like everybody thought Ben McLemore was going to be a bust even when he was drafted. Ken Birch retired. Already had De'Aaron Fox, and now we have Marshall Fox. Yao Ming, 91 overall. Hall of Fame putback boss. Hall of Fame clutch shooter. Oh my god. He just developed four Hall of Fame defensive badges on top of all uh, the brick wall he already had. Although, wait. Brick wall isn't a defensive bad. Who the hell knows? Um, it looks like our team got 12 times worse, so uh, that's incredible. Like, Devon Reed's now our fifth best player. Today, we got two 90s. We're just in the finals and all that stuff. Season number six. Our prodigy, Tomas, is starting at small forward. Finally, Yao Ming, one-time all-star. 26 and 12 a game? What, what, what did they put you on this year? He's shooting almost 10 more shots in the second most shots attempted on the team. Oh, Tomas Christie. I was kidding when I called him a prodigy. He's actually averaging the second most points with 20 a game. And then you realize that, uh, well, we're still not in the playoffs, so this isn't good. What do you expect? Devon Reed is starting. Be honest, man. It'd be really cool if, you know, you just just stop. Rookie of the year, Gary Weber. Oh my god. Yao Ming, defensive player of the year, just like that. Averaging 26 points, 11 rebounds, almost three blocks, less than one steal. Yeah, I guess that's what happens when you're, uh, you know, seven foot six. So Shamori Prons went from rookie of the year to most improved player, huh? Yao Ming, all NBA third team. And we missed the playoffs by, uh, I don't even want to know how many games. Um, seven games. We somehow have Monte Morris and Christian Wood, but it's not like that matters. We also let go of Zaire Williams. Oh, God, we're stupid. Devin Booker finals MVP for uh, his sons. He stood loyal. Very interesting. Oh, my God. Bull Bull, what the hell is wrong with you, man? Not even in a bad way, although that sounds like a very bad thing to say. I don't know. You leave the Bucks, you go to the Suns, like, like you're literally God. You you just, I don't know. Etuan Moore retired. Yao Ming, 92 overall. Probably one of the better duos in the league with, you know, this guy named De'Aaron. But aside from that, uh, the rest of the team sucks. Still only 25 years old going to season number seven. And already has a DPOI and gold dream shake. Oh boy. Yao Ming, two-time also. Hey, look who it is. Our good friend De'Aaron. Although we haven't really caught much success together aside from all, uh, you know, Eastern Conference Finals appearance. But it looks like we're going to miss the playoffs again. So that's fun. Even though we somehow have Michael Porter Jr. now. Oh, we actually traded for him. Wait, did we sign? Did we trade? What's his name?
his name for Michael Porter Jr.? Yeah, we traded Devontae for this guy. Giannis, please, please get the hell out of here. Bobo, six man of the year. Wait, what? He's on Denver again? Bro, go somewhere. Yao Ming, DPOY once again. A little bit worse overall numbers this year, but whatever. All NBA third team again. Shout out to Vladimir Lekic. Oh, and there's De'Aaron too. But we missed the playoffs by some games, you know? De'Aaron finally started scoring the ball this season. Shout out to Luka, who got one of those championship things. You know, maybe, uh, you know, Yao, I know earlier I said Yao was coming for the championship, but he hasn't really done it yet. Russell Westbrook retired. Hey, we actually have two top 10 picks this year. Look at that. Smart business moves. And we drafted a 74 and a 70. Actually, a 77 is pretty good. Yao Ming, 93 overall. I don't really think he needs even more badges at this point. Oh no, his driving dunk went down by one. Somehow this man has an 83 perimeter defense and a 25 lateral quickness. See, where did, where's the correlation there? How shall you defend the perimeter, but you can't move side to side? I don't know. Whatever. We have Anthony Simons and we're going to year number eight. Our coach, Owen Taylor, just kind of looks mesmerized by defeat. Can Yao Ming ever Yao Ming the Yao Ming? Find out in the next episode of Yao Ming. I'm losing my mind for God's sake. We're on the Hornets. Even De'Aaron Fox couldn't save us. And by save us, I just mean like, you know, consecutive playoff appearances. Well, Yao Ming's a three-time All-Star. What did God put Curry on? I know he points up the sky a lot of times when he does cool stuff in the league, but like, you know, 40 years old MVP. And honestly, he's one of the few players that doesn't regress well. Like I've, I've adjusted, you know, some stuff like regression and all that, but he just, he just, he just breaks the game. Gary Norris, rookie of the year. Oh yes, Bobo Bo found another home. Yao Ming, back to back to back DPOI, averaging 25, 13, and three blocks. Most approved player, Amir Coffee, Coach of the year, uh, Mr. Kerr. All NBA second team, a promotion from Mr. Ming or Mr. Yao, whatever the hell you want to call him. Imagine just trying to score on Ben Simmons, Dante DiVincenzo, Giannis, Jonathan Isaac, and Yao Ming. Hey, we're the sixth seed up against the Pacers who have Tyrone Wallace and RJ Barrett on another new team. James Wiseman versus Yao Ming. Well, this should be interesting. We're up 3-2. Oh God, it's a game seven again. Yao Ming with a light 24 and 22 in game six, but uh, yeah. Oh God, here we go. Well, we tried like always and we lost. Yao Ming, 35 points. Um, Yeah, thankfully he didn't choke this time around, but his whole team did. Playoff numbers were super elite. Playoff outcome was super awful as the Rockets won a championship led by Jamal Murray. So, so replace James Harden with Jamal Murray and you won a championship. Yeah, sure. Why the hell not? Most valuable Steph retired. The summer league god Kyle Anderson's out of here. The Thunder got the first pick from Utah. Wow. Best revenge for when that fan was yelling at Russell Westbrook. Yao Ming, 94 overall. Still got a big three of sorts. We know De'Aaron Fox, Michael Porter Jr., but it's not really doing any big things. Well, he set a new career high of 49 points this season. In case you don't know, when I import these historic players, they always have the career highs from their old careers for some reason because 2K is annoying. But uh, yeah, this is new career high. Season number nine, which also means this is contract year. This man almost weighs double of De'Aaron Fox. Just think about that. Man almost weighs double of a whole NBA player. It was like 6-3. Team Giannis and Team Zion. Oh, Yao Ming, four-time All-Star and one-time starter. Almost thought he didn't make it for a second, but hey, that's cool. I guess he is like the best defense player in the league. Hey, guess what? We have 17 wins. This team is utterly awful. Wait, what? We have the Harden guy? How the hell did he get here? He, he just signed here? Well, it looks like it doesn't matter since we we have, we, what, 17 wins? Yeah, 18 wins? Fantastic. Well, yeah, I was averaging 25 and 16 and it doesn't matter. Giannis would be real nice if you know, calm down, please. I guess he's not winning every championship, so whatever. At least it's controlled, I guess, to an extent. Rookie of the year, Otis Harvey. DPOY, Mr. Ming himself. I don't know why all of a sudden I have the audacity to call a man Mr. Out of all videos. Oh, most improved player, Ellis Best. Yao Ming, all NBA first team. He just wishes we'd be winning more games. Well, hopefully you just leave now then. This is the last year in your contract. All NBA third team, Bo Bo of the Brooklyn Nets. Yeah, he won 23 games. What do you expect with this team? It's not like James Harden made a difference as his Rockets won another championship. Well, not his anymore. Jamal Murray's. Giannis lost in the second round to the uh, Magic. Ah, yes, Kuminga. TJ McConnell retired. Of course, we were this horrible and somehow got the fifth pick. We drafted a man named Kirk. Yeah, yeah, I'll get the hell out of here. Come on, big dog. It's your time to shine and leave. Okay. De'Aaron Fox and Yao Ming both left the Hornets and they replaced them with Porzingis and Obi Toppin. Basically just like budget Yao at this point. And well, where the hell is, uh, wait, what do I even put in for his last name? I guess it's Ming, right? Nope, it's not Ming, for God's sake. So his last name is Yao. So I'm supposed to be calling him Mr. Yao this whole time. Yao Ming is on the Indiana Pacers. Wait, they used to have Wiseman. Don't tell me they still have Wiseman. Well, in fairness, that could be kind of dominant if they just, you know, slide him over to the floor. Yup. Yao Ming and James Wiseman. We're going to have two seven footers at power forward and center unless they decide to get real weird with it and put Dusty Phillips over James Wiseman. Also, Killian Hayes and uh, Jalen LeCue, aka the guy that can jump. Well, 28 years old. For the record, he signed a three year contract with a player option in year four. Got another, like, couple Hall of Fame badges, I think. This is season number 10. Already halfway there. Yeah, you're going to need to do something real quick. Uh, yeah, they're putting James Wiseman off the bench. Do I try and fix this just for the hell of the team? For the hell of the team? What does that even mean? Yeah, you're James Wiseman, for God's sake. You also have four years left in your own contract, so we can't do all that. So, look, 
like when we put him at power forward, he becomes a 93, which is a, a lot better. Because I know the comments gonna tell me, oh, you should have done blah blah blah, didn't that the wise man? Okay, cool, great. There you go. He's now the starting power forward. And uh, this team is a lot better actually. So um, this is cool. Thankfully, the first game we got blown up by 20 to the Cavs, but you know the new twin towers did pretty well. Hey hey hey, we're a uh, 19 and 8 team Kyrie and team Luca. Wonder what the hell happened to Giannis? Well, oh, of course, Yao Ming is a five-time All-Star, but our guy De'Aaron Fox is a starter. And on top of that, Wiseman isn't here at all. Oh wow, RJ Hampton's averaging 22 and 8. They said forget Yao. This man got snubbed for the All-Star team. Hey, uh, we finally have a good team, kind of. Hopefully, we can just you know do something with it. Indiana, the place to be. What we've got in Indiana is uh, the Banker's Life Fieldhouse and um I don't know Larry Bird's childhood home. Yeah, that's about it. Just kidding. Don't get triggered, please. Oh, most valuable player, Kyrie Irving of the uh, Brooklyn Nets. Still, of course, he peaks at 38. Makes perfect sense. It's Kyrie for God's sake. Oh my God. Rookie of the year. Oof. Oof sounds like when you hit a villager in Minecraft. Darius Garland, six man of the year. Oh, Yao Ming. Okay, well, he is on the team with, you know, the guy James Wiseman, but uh, Nick Richards. Three blocks a game. Steals the, uh, you know, DPOI from Yao. Yeah, Yao still did well, but whatever. Had to end eventually, I guess. Charlotte Hornet, Adrian Spencer won most improved player because, I mean, somebody had to step up. Oh, and Chris Stops Porzingis of the Hornets made the first team. Yao didn't make any of the team. All defensive second team, though, because, I mean, he's Yao. And we're the second seed. Okay, see, look, I'll, I'll trade out all that stuff like DPOI if we can be the second seed. The Wizards have Jalen Green, Denny, and Wendell Carter Jr. Can we win, please? Oh, 4 0 sweep is always a surprising thing. You never really think things are going to come easy here. And now, oh God, Shimori Pons and Kuminga. Yeah, it's over. 2 2, 3 3. Oh God, here we go. Well, we were just up by a lot. Now we're choking. Um, Can we please just win? Okay, we won. Yao Ming, thank you very much. 28 and 10 in the uh, last game. And now, uh, Yao Ming versus Andre Drummond. What the hell? Why is this team in the conference finals? Is Anthony Edwards that good of a carry guy? Well, we're about to see. 2 1, 3 1, and 4 1. Yep, he is. He shot 13 for 30, but okay, Wiggins played pretty well too. But yeah, Yao Ming, 25 points, 12 rebounds in the playoffs. But it results in another Eastern Conference Finals exit as the Cavs, I think, just blew a 3-1 lead to the Suns. So now Phoenix is two-time Finals champions. What, what, that didn't make any sense. Why didn't they say champions? With Markel Fultz, Vlade Lekic, and Devin Booker. Tobias Harris went back to the Pistons for one year and retired. Yao Ming is a 96 overall going into season number 11. We now have a, oh wait, this is just Dusty Phillips. Wait, why is our team so much worse? What the hell? Where did our two guards go? Uh, who was it again? RJ Hampton and the other guy? Yeah, they're gone. So, uh, oh, great. There goes our success. Probably because we spent all our money on Yao. Our new starting point guard is Ashton Hagens. While Yao and James Wise are going to be playing every minute of the game. Okay, maybe not every minute of the game. I'm exaggerating like usual. Season number 11. Oh, wow. James Wiseman, all-star starter. Oh, Yao Ming is, you know, six-time all-star off the bench. I guess that's what happened when you lose all your teammates. Probably why we aren't in the playoffs right now. Well, yes, that's definitely why we're not in the playoffs right now. Don't know what the hell happened to Giannis, but a bear, no, not Barry. Gary Norris, fifth in the MVP voting. Yeah, Giannis is just taking it easy on these peasants. Hey, Luca, long time no see, or actually maybe just no see, period. Don't think you've ever won an MVP before. Patrick Red, rookie of the year, shooting 40% from the field. That's very prestigious. Yao Ming, DPOI once again, but guess what? Like, I'm gonna be honest, we just really don't care, because we won 37 games. Bowl Bowl, all NBA first team, the god himself. But yeah, sure, Yao, great season, but um, we need some, like, teammates or something like that, because, uh, yeah, we missed the playoffs again. Three wins out of the playoffs. Wiseman did all he could. He averaged 20 seven for god's sake is a power forward that can't shoot and just kind of dunks on people i mean he can shoot a little bit yeah when a man named Taribo is your third leading scorer it's not gonna happen so you need to know what i mean go and press the front office real quick you're seven foot six for god's sake you're pretty intimidating and you know what pull a brooklyn nets and trade all your draft picks for old paul pierce for god's sake who the hell cares okay maybe don't do that luca there you go again terrence davis retired okay we had the first pick in the draft and drafted a man named spencer powell he's a 79 this could finally be something good oh, yeah he has an a potential interest Interesting. For some reason, he's 24, though. So, um, well, I guess just more pressure become good fast. So, uh, good for us. Yao Ming, 97 overall, 30-year-old, going to year number 12. Our starting point guard is Jordan McLaughlin. Yao Ming, all-star starter this year. While uh, Lonzo Ball, all-star starter in the other conference. Or a uh, team, you know what I mean. Hey, we're actually the second seed in the conference right now. Here's that Luka guy again. Rookie of the year, Lyle. DPOY, Mr. Yao himself. I finally got it right. Averaging the Yao numbers. The norm at this point. He actually didn't make an all-NBA team this year. Who the hell is Elaine Trichet? We are the third seed up against the Sixers. Oh, God. Oh, Joel isn't here anymore, but that means Ben Simmons probably playing even better. And we're down 3-2. 3-3. Okay, we actually won game seven by one point. What the hell? I probably should have simcasted this then, huh? Well, uh, Yao shot 4-14, but I guess we won, so that's cool. Second round against the Hornets. Oh, God, wait, this is our old team. Porzingis, Josh, Christopher, onto the Kumpo? What the hell? Oh, boy. Well, we're up 3-2, and oh, God, it's a game seven. All right, I'm going to simcast this one, so I don't miss a one point win or you know a 40 point loss like it's looking to be ah oh, that's incredible we got beat down by the guy who, you know shares the same
same DNA as Giannis. Yeah, we're 21 on 9 for 14, but yeah, not good enough. The Charlotte Hornets won a championship led by Kristaps Porzingis as Yao Ming failed to ever win one with them. Um, now they got the other tall guy and he won. Jordan McLaughlin retired. Can that first overall pick go from like, you know, an 80 overall to like a 90 now? We didn't have a pick this year. Yao Ming, 97 overall, somehow still kind of progressing. Hall of Fame Worm allows rebounders to swim or spin around box outs. Imagine like you already have Yao Ming of all people boxed out. He could already probably reach over you and then he just swims around you. Hey, we have DeJounte Murray. That's actually pretty good. Better than Jordan McLaughlin. And our first overall pick is an 81. That's very promising. Season number 13. What the hell? Team De'Aaron? Oh, now I really miss this man. Granted, James Wiseman is an all-star starter and so is Yao, but the captain? Where did he even go? He's on Miami. Oh, of course. He left and even left with Zaire Williams. Even Tyler Harrow stood loyal. All Heat fans are somewhere cheering right now. Never mind. He like left for 10 years and then came back. Yao Ming won a player of the month award. And it looks like he re-signed to another contract because no way his contract was this long. Now we're here until he's 35 at least. Or maybe he could decline the player option. I don't know. That's kind of how contracts work. Okay, Luca, we're starting to get it. Six man of the year, Stan Hicks. DPOI, Yao Ming. How many times is that? Seven times, which breaks the record of four, like, you know, three times ago. This Owen Cooper guy has been coach of the year like seven years now. I just have never shown it. Yao Ming, all NBA second team. Shout out to James Wiseman, also on this team. It is Yao thing actually a little bit better, better than he's ever done in Indiana. So that's cool. And well, I guess because of it, we're the second seed. Oh, God, we're playing the Sixers again. They even have my league god, Dennis Schroeder now. Oh, here we go. Although we have the clamp god, DeJounte. And is this CJ Watson? No, this is Chester Watson. Remember CJ Watson? Yeah, me neither. We just blew a 3-0 lead and now it's a game seven. That's incredible. Can we just uh, not? Okay, Um. yeah, please. You know, just like we don't really need to lose right now. Okay, cool. Incredible. Wiseman, thank you for saving us. Atlanta, you have OG Ananobi and uh, Mo Bamba. Okay. And uh, yeah, 4-1. That was pretty easy. Toronto Raptors, Mikey Williams and Amani Bates. I'm scared. We're up 3-0. That was uh that was different. I didn't expect it to be that easy or easy at all. And now we play Zion and Tomas Christie, the guy from the Hornets. Long time no see. But can James Wiseman, Yao Ming, that number one overall pick guy, Mr. Jumpman himself, Jalen LeCue, and DeJounte Murray, you know? Can we do this whole championship thing? We win game one. We win game two. Game one, Yao Ming dropped 38 and 23. And game two, 23. 3 and 10. Zion's still doing his Zion thing though. Game 3 to the Warriors. Yeah, Zion did a little bit too much of his Zion thing. While uh, Yao, my god, 36 and 20. Game 4, we win. 3-1 lead. Wiseman and Yao, the Twin Towers, their ultimate game. Although, I don't know, they probably had better games together, but whatever. Are we going to actually win a championship? Yeah. After a pretty long road, a road longer than his actual career, Yao Ming, the 7-foot beast who just thankfully stopped that man Rui from hitting that. Oh yeah, another Asian player. Not Chinese, but Asian. There we go. Look at me. Not discriminating. Yao Ming for three. Screw it. Take it. All right. Maybe that wasn't the best idea. Imagine when I blow the lead. Let's go, Yao. Let's be disrespectful. Get in the post. Get in the post. Get in the post. There we go. Ah, ah. Beautiful. Well, Yao Ming and the Indiana Pacers win the NBA championship. I heavily believe their first one. Shout out Reggie Miller. Shout out Rick Smith. Shout out Danny Granger. Shout out Monte Ellis. And here we are. There goes our rookie holding the championship trophy. And Yao Ming, tall body self, won the uh, finals MVP, of course. Hooray. I don't even know who the hell that is. Ah, yes. Look at the squad. Yao Ming. Okay, look. He should have had 48 because I just scored two of him, but 40 points, 16 rebounds, three steals, and three blocks on 18 for 19 from the line to win his first ever NBA championship after 13 years. And well, he's still only 32, and if the team is this good, this could be promising. Oh, yeah. Let me not also not overshadow the fact that James Wiseman did pretty good, too. You know, 37 points. Yao averaged 33 and 16 in the finals and 29 and 14 in the playoffs as a whole. Oh, that was pretty good. Didn't even realize Clay was still in the Warriors, but uh, he retired. Jordan Poole retired. Yao Ming is now regressing at 32 years old. He's still the 97, though. But yeah, he regressed in way too many stats for this to be a fluke. But hey, our team seemingly stood together, and our number one overall guy is getting better. So, can we do one of those, uh, you know, repeat things? Wiseman somehow improved in one stat and got worse in another. So, uh, probably mid-range stat probably got better because, uh, you know, Yao got in the paint and said move. Season number 14. Oh, James Wiseman, all-star captain. And thankfully, he drafted Yao Ming. Granted, it was after he drafted Mikey Williams, but you know, we'll let it slide. Colin Sexton, one-time All-Star. Shout out to the GOAT. Yeah, Wiseman's second in the MVP race, and Yao is actually fifth, which isn't too far off. We have a man named Willard starting at the two, so we're definitely repeating. And Matt Bonner's son, Zach Bonner. And Kosas Antetokounmpo. Another guy who I feel like usually retires early, but uh, hey, here he is. Oh, God, we got Julius Randle. This man better spin turned over his way to the bench. So we went from like Giannis for 10 years to now like Luka for 10 years. So the rookie of the year is a senior. Ken Moore Sr. Yeah, 
Yeah, I mean, it's possible. It's just kind of weird to, you know, pick up the senior. Bowl Bowl Lakers, sixth man of the year. Yao Ming, DPOI, of course. Defensive God. Don't understand how he's still only shooting like 49 from the field. Owen Cooper, hello. Yao Ming and James Wiseman, all NBA first team. Now, this is actually interesting because usually when you have guys that are like really good at the basketball thing, and also DeJounte Murray, all defensive first team with Yao, you end up a lower seed, but uh, we're still 52 and 30 in a third seed. And uh, this team only has Cat, so um, can we please, you know, win? Yeah, we're down 3 1. Of course, we can't win. We lost 4 to 2 in the first round to Cat and the uh, Miami Heat. They don't even have my guy, De'Aaron Fox, anymore, but they still got Hero. Incredible way to bounce back, guys, as the Rockets win like their third championship. Yao Ming was, uh, I mean, he did his Yao Ming thing in the playoffs. Julius Randle retired. Wow, Jamal Murray's a different brand of stupid to leave the Rockets and they win another championship without him. You're only their two time finals MVP, you know. Juhan Beggerin retired. Yao Ming, 96 overall, going to season number 15. Well, uh, even Wiseman's regressing now. Oh, God, and now DeJounte's not here either, but at least we got Costas, whatever. Play him at point guard. I don't know. His brother could do it, probably. The hell? This man's 36. Doesn't feel like he should be that old. Oh, Yao Ming's a 96 overall, still regressing, going to season number 15. Ah, yeah, starting shooting guard, Yuri Kurzov. Hey, we have Luka. Luka, Luka dropped Najak. Team Mikey and Team Luka. Yao Ming, 10-time All-Star as a reserve. Mikey Williams, Toronto Raptors, most valuable player. Yao Ming, still the DPOY at age 34. Actually, it's not that old. Didn't make an All-NBA team, you know. Did his Yao thing. And we're the third seed against the Sixers again. We still have the Ben Simmons guy and, and Mattia Roncati. Oh, we won in seven games. We're actually down 3-1 and came back. That's cool. Good job, Yao. I honestly just accepted defeat and didn't say any words. And now we play Shaquille O'Neal and Alex Antetokounmpo and, uh, you know, the Charlotte Hornets because Chris Dobbs retired. So uh, here's this team. Oh, nice. 4-0 sweep. Miami, you're the eight seed for God's sake. I know you guys just beat us like a year ago, but please no more. I just saw you have Kuninga. Oh, God. Actually, I forgot. His, I fixed his name to Kuminga. So why am I still saying Kuninga? Who knows? Well, uh, we just need one more game, please. Thank you very much. We're in the finals again. Oh, God. The Houston Rockets who find a way to win this every year somehow. They have Mobley at power forward, Shea and Zaire Williams, and you know, Obama, the song guy. We lose game one, lose game two, lose game three. Oh, yeah, this is going incredible. I just feel like, you know, I mean, we're just going to get swept real quick. Oh, yes, incredible. Great. Evan Mobley, uh, good job, man. Um, Yeah, what the hell just happened? All right, incredible. Obama really beat us down in the left. Well, he made Cat retire. Lucas Samanek retired. I feel like this year, yeah, I was going to go down by like 10 overalls, and the real fall off is going to start. I don't know. Maybe I'm just making a horrible guess. Yeah, I made a horrible guess. Yao Ming, 96 overall, going to season number 16. Well, at least Yuri went up by two overalls. Did we really make the finals with Yuri starting a shooting guard? Yao Ming is an all star starter again. Ulf Nojewitz is a one time all star. Most valuable player, Warren Payne. DPOI, Yao Ming, even though his numbers kind of went down noticeably. And eh, not that noticeable, actually. He only went down by like two points a game. Wait, Warren Payne is the MVP at an 88 overall? The hell? Oh, shout out to Wiseman. Ulf, all NBA third team. Yao Ming didn't make one. Or the fifth seed against the Celtics. Oh, God, they have Warren Payne. Never mind, we beat the MVP, even though it was a higher seed than us. Mikey Williams and Amani Bates again. Here we go. Yeah, we lost 4 1 this time around. Oh, it was a good run. Charlotte Hornets win another championship, this time led by Alex Antetokounmpo. Anthony Simons retired. When is, is Yao going to leave this team? I, I can't even remember when his contract expires. It actually might be this year. Oh, boy. Well, Yao Ming's still here. Probably just re signed. But hey, he's been making $56 million when he's 37 years old and he's a 94 overall right now. Our number one overall pick really played up the standards, huh? Whatever. I guess 87 overall is all right. Season number 17. Hey, Yuri. Nice to see you back here. You know, 77 overall. Yao Ming is still an all star starter. So, how was Warren Payne the MVP last year and he's still not a starter? Even Ulf is a starter. Evan Mobley, most valuable player. Yao Ming, 11 time DPOI. I've seen this guy win most pro player before. He's won it twice. I didn't even know that was possible. Darrell Armstrong, coach of the year. No all NBA team. But we're the second seed against Miami. Um, well, Cat's not here anymore. So, who could be here? Joshua Clayton on Yao Ming. Now, granted, you have Shea and Jonathan Kuminga, but I mean, you have a guy named John. John, what Clayton? I don't even remember his name. Please. Oh my God. We lost in game seven. Yao Ming, James Wiseman couldn't do it because we lost by seven points to Kuminga. Incredible. As the second seed versus the seventh seed. And the Cavs and Ellis Best won a championship. Jalen LeCue retired. Yao Ming, 91 overall, going to season number 18. Oh God, he's even losing all of his badges. He only has three defensive ones, one shooting one, and no finishing ones. Hall of Fame, that is. How the hell you win 55 games and get bounced first round? Oh wait, yearly checkup? Oh no. Donnie White starting point guard. Where's uh, where's Yuri? Oh, Yuri's the backup shooting guard. All right, at least he's still here. Hey, look who it is. Thomas Christie, our old guy. Well, uh, yeah, he's just been scoring for every team he's been on for like 10 years. I'm just sad to see us lose by 30 first game of the season to the Rockets. Like, we couldn't even try to get revenge. Team Jonathan and Team Vlade. Yao Ming's still an all-star. Can we appreciate how we beat down uh, Warren Payne in the first round? He's never been.
been like you know an MVP contention since. He's gonna win it now that I said that, even though he's off that all-star bench. Most valuable player after I made fun of him for a while. Oof. Donnie White, rookie of the year, aka our starting point guard. And Yao Ming still the DPOI for the 12th time. What this man? This is genuinely inspirational. He went from mo most valuable player, what, five times in this league? To now coach of the year with 60 wins. Stephen Curry. And we're the fourth seed with 46 wins up against, well, um, oh god, Donnie White on John Moran. I don't care if you are the rookie of the year. A 20 overall difference, and uh, oh great, we 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 lost. Yeah, Ja, just let me just see. Oh, I actually didn't really even body the hell out of the rookie. Yao did his Yao thing. Gary Norris, LA Lakers finals MVP. Bruno Fernando retired. Okay, I'm sorry, Bobo. I'll never disrespect you like that ever again. You must be announced every time. Yao Ming, 37 years old, going to season number 19. Edmund Bonner, point guard. Wait, so you're telling me we don't even have the rookie of the year anymore? Oh no, he's not even in the rotation anymore. That's incredible. What team does Steph coach? Hey, 2K14, my player. I'm not as excited to see you because, you know, it wasn't like organic. Same goes to you, Lucas Lucas. Still my guys though, you know. Day one. Steph Curry is the coach of the Nuggets. Wait a second. My 2K14 my player is a CFO too? What the hell? Yao Ming is no longer an all-star. With that being said, he's still number one in DPOI. At 38. Mikey Williams, another MVP. At least I think another. I don't know. Short-term memory loss. Reginald, sixth man of the year. Yao Ming, DPOI for I don't even want to know how many years. Oh, wow. Um, remember that guy that we drafted with the first pick? Yeah, he's on the first team now. I guess that kind of panned out well. It did take him like seven years though. Why is it that every team we play, Kuminga is just on it? Well, we got to play Warren Payne and Kuminga. Warren Payne probably heard me, and uh, here we go. We lost in game seven. Yeah, he definitely heard me. We lost by seven points. Yao Ming tried. Sacramento, good job, Aaron. So you guys let go of De'Aaron, and now you're, you know, your guy's Aaron. Wow. Yao Ming has yet to retire. James Wiseman retired. Fantastic. Shout out to De'Aaron Fox, too. This is the last year in his contract, I believe. Well, he's going to be on a team, but what team? Oh, he's still here. Yep, he re-signed on a one-year $46 million deal at, uh, you know, 38 years old. Going into year number 20. And Spencer Powell is officially the best player on the team. It only took, what, almost a decade? Yao Ming from just about a seven-year career to now a 20-year career. Don't even have to worry about putting the hyphen in his name. He's not going to match anything even close. You know, his old self's not going to be even close to this one. The guy's still number one in DPOY. He's only averaging like two blocks a game. Warren Payne got another MVP. Dimitri Kasparov, rookie of the year. Yao Ming. He's sad that we won 31 games, but you know, he's happy about everything else. And well, Indiana fans, thanks for all the love over the years, but this will be my final season. Yao Ming is up and out of here. Ming has made a lasting impression in Indiana, but he's announced his intention to retire at the season's end, which means which means that oh my god get the hell out of here how are you gonna shoot 90 for 218 in the paint and you're seven foot six yeah it's time to go my guy in the paint though like right under the basket you could literally just lay it over the basket without jumping and you you over here struggling huh yeah nah it's time to call the quits hey it's julie newman's dad yep uh we didn't make the playoffs shout out to don morrison and the okc thunder and that is going to do it 39 years old after 20 years pro yao ming says i don't think i can go through the daily grind of another season this is it for me that's that's literally what he said it's right there after averaging career numbers of 21 points per game 12 rebounds about two and a half blocks 89 from the line good for a guy that's you know seven six in his actual career yao ming played a total of 486 games in this one we almost what multiplied that by four to 1640 he had 1097 double doubles thankfully because anything less than that would be pretty concerning and one triple double wonder who the hell that was against in his second season and well for the nba records yao finishes 26th all-time with 34,220 points, which is actually directly one spot below his guy, James Wiseman. 15th in field goals made, 19th in free throws made, 7th in rebounds, 2nd in blocks, under 100 behind Hakeem. He actually had 22 40 point games. You wouldn't really expect it from a guy like Yao. And no, I actually didn't mess with any of his shooting tendencies this whole entire thing. But he never scored 50. His career high was 49. He did not set any type of individual game records. He had the second most rebounds in Pacers history with 26, fifth the most blocks with 8. In the playoffs, he had the second most points ever in Pacers history, right behind his guy, James Wiseman. In the same playoff run, actually, as well. Most rebounds in a game in playoff history for the Pacers. Fifth most blocks. And, well, last but not least, award history. One-time NBA champion, 13-time NBA All-Star, two-time first-team All-NBA, three-time second-team All-NBA, two-time third-team All-NBA, 14-time DPOY, which is 10 more than the record, 14-time first-team All-Defense, two-time second-team All-Defense, one-time first-team all rookie and he set new career highs in this career compared to his last one in almost everything except for i feel like blocks he did not get 10 blocks in a game this time around after this type of career is it even possible that yao ming couldn't make the hall of fame of course he's here let's look at his numbers again as we're gonna see his jersey retired with both the charlotte hornets and the indiana pacers number 11 for nine years of service with
with the Hornets and 11 years of service with the Pacers. I have to say, this was a, a pretty successful career compared to his original one. I mean, he got the ring. I mean, he basically blows himself away in every single stat, including also obviously DPOYs. He didn't win one in his actual career and he won 14, which is more than the years he was even in the NBA the last time around. So yeah, it goes without debate. Yao Ming was much more dominant in A, this era, and B, without injuries. So that is going to do it. Thank you for watching. You can like and subscribe to the channel if you care about my channel at all. If you're one of the people that watches every single one of my videos and has not subscribed yet, then what's the point really? You might as well just do it. Let me know what you want to see next and I am out of here. Cut.